Yo, what's going on guys? Spork here back with another video. And this time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be reviewing the Galmon S620. If you're in a hurry or looking for specific info, I'll put some timestamps on the screen and in the description to make things convenient for you. Uh, it also adds the, the cool thing on the <laughs> YouTube timeline. I just want to make it to do that. Oh, also a little disclaimer. Uh, the people over at Galmon did send me this tablet for review, but they didn't give me any talking points or anything like that. So this video is completely unbiased. I think that's all the boring stuff out of the way. So let's get into the video. First thing I noticed when the tablet came in was actually how professional the packaging is. I know it seems like a small detail, but sometimes lesser known companies will just use unbranded cardboard, so it's nice that Galmon put in the extra effort to make this feel like a quality product from the start. It did have some stickers on it with shipping info obviously, so uh, there's some remnants of that, but that's kind of unavoidable. Right off the bat, when you open the top, you're greeted with a couple of cards. First one is just a little thank you note, which is always nice, and the orange one gives you the link to the download page where you can find the drivers and the manual if you need it. Next up, if we open the little compartment, you have your pen, and I'll go over all the specs of everything in depth later, but uh, I'll say that these pens are nice. They're similar to the Wacom pens, so you don't have to charge them or plug them in or anything like that so it's super convenient we also have our micro usb to usb cable uh, obviously this is for connecting the tablet to our device something you might want to take note of is that unlike a traditional cable this one has an l-shaped connector and i can't even begin to explain how much of a difference that makes i'm so glad they included that uh, makes my life a lot easier it'll make your life a lot easier too um they also threw in a couple of adapters one for usb c if you're using a mac or like a google pixel or something as well as a micro USB for your Samsung Android devices because yes this tablet will work on your phone if you have Android 6.0 or later so that's cool. Last thing on the side here is some sort of like a pocket or case to keep your pen in. Um, I don't think it'll protect it or anything like that but it's just somewhere you can store your pen to keep track of it uh, which is a nice addition. Getting into the main section of the box you obviously have the tablet itself. Now right off the bat it looks really sleek. I really like the layout. You got four programmable buttons here at the top which is great for streamlining your workflow personally i just use keyboard shortcuts i don't use express keys but it's nice to have that feature available because i know a lot of people just can't draw without those underneath you have some extra pen nibs along with a nib remover for when yours gets too worn down um you also get this cool drawing glove uh smudge guard whatever you want to call it uh not gonna lie i didn't realize this was included my wacom tablet never came with one of these so i've never actually used one but i'm looking forward to trying it out and finally at the bottom you have a booklet that'll help you set everything up i'd always recommend reading these types of things to tell you everything you need to know but if you don't like reading, I'll walk you through it later in the video. The S620 is compatible with Mac and Windows. It supports almost every mainstream art and design software like Sai, Photoshop, tons more. It's also compatible with games like Osu if you're into that. And obviously, like I said earlier, if you're using an Android device that runs 6.0 or later, uh, it also works on that. So you can draw from anywhere on almost anything. It supports 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. That's twice as many as tablets like the Wacom Intuos. The pen also uses an EMR technology, which means it's battery free, never needs to be charged or plugged in, nothing like that. It has a 6.5 by 4 inch work area, which isn't huge, but combined with its 10 millimeter sensing height and 266 PPS report rate, it uh, feels really comfortable, really responsive. The four express keys will help improve work efficiency for any of you that like using those. And it also has a little LED status indicator that will help you spot any issues while you're drawing. Usually if you pick this thing up on Amazon, it costs between $35, $40, uh, which is already really good. But uh, if you're watching this video between March 22nd and March 28th, then using the link in the description, you'll be able to pick this tablet up for $28.89 USD. Uh, I definitely consider hopping on that because it's honestly a really great deal. But remember, it's only between the 22nd and the 28th, so if you're thinking about getting a tablet, I would do it right now. After using the tablet for a few hours, I have to say I honestly am surprised. Uh, it surpassed any expectations I had for it. First of all, just to get this out of the way, the build quality is really good. Like, it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. It's thin, lightweight, doesn't feel too small. The pen itself has a sort of grip area where you can hold it, and I actually really like that. It feels a lot more comfortable than my uh, other tablets that I've used where it's just hard plastic the whole way down. Uh, this one's a lot more comfortable to hold. Honestly, the only flaw I found in the tablet, and it's not really like something big, but uh, my Wacom Intuos has like a little has a little loop to put your pen into, and I kind of wish this thing had one of those. It's super convenient, but I mean, I guess it comes with that pouch thing, so it's kind of a trade-off, but uh, I did really like the loop on the Wacom, so that's my only that's my only flaw. While I was drawing with it, I didn't actually have any issues, no complaints, anything like that. It was snappy, responsive. 
I did everything you would expect. To be completely honest with you guys, it felt almost exactly like drawing with my Into a Small, which is kind of crazy because uh, this thing is less than half the price. And I think that's honestly what's kind of the make or break deal with this. That's what's gonna make this my number one recommendation for those of you that are getting into digital art or animation. Because even if you don't get this thing on sale, it's like a cheap budget tablet that's amazing quality. Honestly, it takes all the boxes. Once again though, if you do want a better deal and you're watching the week this comes out, then using the link in the description is the way to go. That's not an affiliate link, by the way. I don't get paid for that. It's just uh, it's just a link to help you guys out. Unfortunately, I'm not able to test Android compatibility because the only Android device I have is really old. Um, but if you have anything that runs 6.0 or later, all you have to do is plug it in, turn on OTG and settings, and it works. I can already imagine that uh, using this thing along with Flip a Clip, Rough Animator, Ibis Paint, literally anything you're using, it'll be way easier, way more natural feeling. Obviously, the Express Keys won't work on the Android, but uh, you don't really need them since most programs have like a two finger click to undo thing already. If you're looking for a star rating, then overall for what you're getting, I really can't give this any lower than four and a half stars. I would honestly give it a five, but I do really miss my little pen loop. So uh, you're getting four and a half, but it's honestly a great tablet, really good. Okay, so you probably found yourself here because you just like following instructions, but uh, the setup is super simple, super straightforward. Um, all you have to do is go to galmon.net slash download which will bring you to a page of all their drivers for all their devices, which might seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but you can just select your device from the dropdown, no problem. From here, it gives you the option to download some older versions of the driver, but 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, you're just gonna go ahead and download the latest version right on top. After that finishes downloading, go ahead and unzip the file, double click on the executable, and you're done. It's really that easy, nothing else to it. After plugging in your tablet and opening up the software, you can really quickly and really easily start customizing your device. First tab when you open it up is obviously the pen, so you can start by adjusting that. Every button is changeable, you just gotta click on them and then press a key or a combination of keys. You can also set a little custom curve for your pen sensitivity and test it in the little doodle box below. In the next tab down, you can edit the tablet's active work area as well as set up a rotation if you'd rather have the express keys on the bottom or the side or something. Under the cogwheel in the last tab, there's just some additional stuff. Uh, you have some general settings like language, then you have the option to back up your settings so that you don't have to redo everything when you get a new computer or something. And finally, just a couple of pages of info. The other thing you can do with this software that's actually really cool is uh, set up different like profile settings for different programs. It's really cool because some programs have weird shortcuts or some programs are a lot more sensitive than others, so it's nice to be able to tune that. There's not really much else to say about this thing other than I definitely recommend picking it up. If you're a beginner and you're not really sure if you want to commit to digital art or you just don't have a lot of money, uh, this is a really affordable and quality option for you. If you're already a committed artist, then I'd say this would make a great backup or a travel tablet. It's compact, it's lightweight, uh, makes it really easy to store and carry around. Also, I know I didn't talk about it too much, but uh, if you're someone who plays Osu or games like that, this is a good sized tablet, it's really responsive, so if you want to up your Osu game, definitely consider this. Other than that, thank you Gaumon for sending me the tablet, and thank all of you for the continued support on the channel. Um, if there's any videos or tutorials that you'd like to see from me, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you want some cool merch, peep the description. And most importantly, remember to stay strong, stay creative, and stay hungry. See you guys.